If you're going to discover God's plan for your life, you and I have to be serious about our relationship with God, serious about it. See, in the midst of this entire predicament that Joseph is going through, now, would you agree with me? This is a pretty major predicament, right? He's got a lady who now is supposed to be his wife, and she's pregnant, and he's asked her, what's this pregnant thing? And he says, well, uh, God did it, and I'm sure that was not a very easy thing for him to swallow at that moment and uh, process himself, and so he's trying to figure this thing out. But something is said about him actually in verse 19 that I want you to take note of about his relationship with God. And this put him in good stead to discover God's plan for his life and God's plan for the life of Mary and ultimately for the Christ child that he would give a care and guardianship to. The Bible says that Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law. Would you say that phrase with me? He was faithful to the law. Say it with me. He was faithful to the law. What law are we talking about here? Not just Jewish law, it's talking about the law of God. That Joseph was a man who had made a commitment to be faithful to God's law. He took God's law seriously. He was committed to the laws of God. He was a man that lived by God's laws. He was faithful to it. And because he was faithful to it, it was God's word or God's law that brought direction to his life. He loved and he obeyed God's word. He loved and he obeyed God's law. He took seriously his relationship with God. And what I would say to you tonight, to all of us gathered here and those that are watching online, that if you're going to experience and discover God's plan for your life, it's not going to happen if you, if, you, if you fail to take your relationship with God seriously. You need to be the kind of person, as do I, that we love the law of God. We love His Word. We love what He says. We try to direct our lives as best as possible on the basis of what God's Word is to us. And so it's a love that we have. It was not that, in fact, that, that Joseph simply gave uh, lip service to the law, but he loved the law of God in his heart. And the Bible is very clear about the tremendous blessings that come to us when we love God seriously, when He is number one in our lives. Psalm 119, verses 97 and 98 says, Oh, how I love your law, the psalmist said. I meditate on it all day long. Your commands are always with me. And notice what it says happens and makes me what? And make me wiser than my enemies. Any of you like to be wiser than your enemies? I know that I would. And if you and I are going to be wise, any realm of life, it was the love of God's law that brought wisdom to Joseph's life. 